Best Photographs of Beauties of the Old West Brothel Although dime novels say that the Old West was mostly dominated by men, contrary to that, the very first establishment that prospectors, travelers, and frontier men would go to besides the saloon was the brothel. Well, the beauties at that time captivated them, and we'll see some of the best photos that captured their alluring charm. Also, at the end of this video, you'll discover the extraordinary story of an opera singer that transformed herself into a red light district superstar. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, during those days, the women of the frontier actually had no legal rights to own properties. And worst, they had very few opportunities for employment. So to provide a roof over their heads, the only preferable option was to work in a brothel. It's just that their story would not end up just like that. Just like this tall and breathtaking beauty, Madam Jenny Rogers. During her heyday, she was known as the Queen of the Colorado Underworld. Yes, aside from her charming looks, she also got influence, money, properties, and quite of a solid reputation. However, not everyone would end up like that. Most of the brothel ladies would stay working throughout their prime under fancy bordellos owned by reputable madams. It really takes more than hard work to reach that level of success. But despite that, these women earned more money in a day compared to others who worked for weeks. That's why in this photo in a boom town in Colorado, you'll see these beauties hanging out just in every place of this famous brothel house. Speaking of success, did you know that many experts believe that these brothel beauties contributed a lot to developing the frontier? Well, aside from offering extra service, these ladies also took the role of a wife and cared for their patrons to the extent that they made sure that they ate regularly and even kept them tidy. No wonder these prospectors kept on visiting brothels. And who would forget Madame Pearl de Vere? She was notable for providing her brothel ladies with regular medical checkups, exquisite clothing, and high wage. But more importantly, this made her brothel more famous to wealthier patrons. And guess what? With her beauty, for her clientele to spend a night with her, they were willing to pay $250, which was around $6,500 today. Well, that's why it's not unheard of that some of these beauties were the biggest earners and the most influential person in their town. And just imagine how a well-known opera singer, Emma Lillis Quigley, chose to abandon her singing career and started working in a brothel. Soon, she discovered how countless gentlemen would lavishly spend their money for her. So that's why to fully establish her position as a red light district superstar, she started wearing jewelry and luxury dresses that cost around $5,000. And just like in this photo of her that was taken to promote her bordello, not as a brothel lady anymore, but instead a successful and established Old West Madam. It showed her unique charm and timeless beauty. And in no time, her business even boomed more exponentially. She became very successful, and it was believed that she managed to own a house decorated with expensive velvet carpets, tapestries, and oriental decor. Indeed, she was a successful opera singer, but even more as a beauty of the Old West brothel. We've just discovered an amazing photo collection of beauties of the Old West. Now click this and discover the greatest madams of the Wild West. 